When connected to a Wi-Fi or mobile network, it is not very unlikely that the users of your app may lose their internet connection at some point. In this short tutorial, I will show you how you can figure out if your user is still connected to the network and if not, how to provide useful feedback to your users. Now to demonstrate what we're going to build at the end of this tutorial, have a look at this demo app. Here we can see uh, we're still connected and if we would try to perform a network request, uh, it would be successful. So what happens if uh, I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi network anymore? So let me try and disconnect. As you can see, it will automatically update the view and we will see that we're not connected and also if the user tries to perform the network request again, he will see that there is no internet connection for him and therefore he can't um, access the data he wants. So this is what we're going to build at the end of this tutorial, so stay tuned. All right, here we are in Xcode. Um, all I did was I created a single view app, made sure that the language is set to Swift and the interface to Swift UI. Also, I set the simulator to iPhone 11. And now we're ready to start. So the way we're going to implement this is we're going to use a class that is called NWPathMonitor. And this NWPathMonitor class allows us to observe uh, and react to network changes. Uh, what's important to know about this is, so you basically initialize it and then you call the start method. And that start method requires a dispatch queue. So we have to also pass a queue in here. Also, once we did that, um, we can access the current path and the current path returns us the NW path, which then again has a status that allows us to see if the user is still connected or not connected. Um, let's just get straight to it. Let's create a new file and um, I will just simply call it network monitor. Inside of this file, make sure that you import the framework network. Let's uh, make this a final class. Also make sure that it's an obs observable object. Um, in here we can initialize the NW path monitor. Um, and we also need a queue. I will just simply give it a string uh, called monitor. Okay, and one thing we need is a published variable that will later tell the view if we are still connected or not. I will call it is connected and it's going to be a boolean. Now let's create the initializer. Inside of this initializer, we can uh, access the monitor method that is called path update handler. And it takes the completion handler. Um, what we also get in here is the path that I just showed you. It's the NW path. And um, one important thing you have to notice here is um, if you want to set this variable, you have to make sure that it is done in the main queue because this will later on update the um, UI and you want to do the UI always on the main thread. So let's do the dispatch queue.main to the synchronous and in here we can say self.isConnected and can set it based on the path. Um, remember it's the status property and if that is satisfied we can set it to true otherwise we set it to false. Uh, one thing, since we're referencing uh, self, make it weak, so we just uh, write weak self in here. Okay, once we're done with this, or oh, since uh, self is weak, we have to add a question mark here. Uh, once we're done with this, we can say monitor.start and pass it the queue we just uh, created. All right, now let's go back to our content view. And in here, we, we are going to access the class we just created. So 
going to say observed object and we'll call it monitor and initialize it with the network monitor just like this and also we will create a state property in here which is going to be private and we will call it show alert sheet and initially set it to false all right and here we are going to replace the text with a we stack and inside of the we stack we will have an image and we will in initialize it with a system image so uh, the system image is going to be dependent on whether we are connected or not so we access the monitor property is connected and if it is connected we will call it Wi-Fi if it is not connected, we will use the system image that is called Wi-Fi dot slash. All right, um, let's also give it a font. Mm, it's going to be a system font with a size, let's say 56. Um, let's check if it still looks good. Perfect. Um, now let's also get uh, create a create text. And the text is obviously also going to be dependent on whether we're connected. And if we are connected, we will say connected. Else we are going to say not connected. So as of right now, I'm not connected, but let me quickly connect again. All right, let's uh, continue. I would also like to have a button here. It needs a title. I will call it perform network request. And the action is going to be self dot show alert equal to true uh, now we want to create the alert sheet and we do that on the we stack so we say alert and for the is presented we will pass the um, show alert binding so we will do dollar sign show alert sheet this will basically automatically reset the show alert sheet for us when the alert is dismissed, for example. And in here we in here we can say if monitor is connected, we return an alert with a title message and a dismiss button. The title is going to be success. The message is going to be the network request can be performed and the dismiss button is going to be a simple default button with the text okay and obviously if that's not the case, uh, we are in the case where we're not connected and I would just paste an alert I already created for it, like so. And that should be uh, all we have to do. So maybe let's also create a padding for this uh, label here. So I will say padding on the text, right? This looks better. And let's see if everything still works. Um, right now we're connected and if we try to perform a network request, it says success. And let me quickly disconnect from my Wi-Fi. You can see I'm not connected anymore. And if I would try to perform the network request, it would sh uh, say that there's no internet connection. All right, um, this is all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates on new content.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.